Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at uh, Baxter Cycle in Marnie, Iowa, and look what I got today. Isn't that just an amazing, amazing wow motorcycle? When I was a kid, I wanted a motorcycle that was uh, 400 pounds and at least 100 horsepower. This is 366 pounds and 121 horsepower. This is the Triumph Speed Triple RS. RS, that means it's got the upgraded suspension, other goodies, a little more horsepower from the motor. I think it's about an extra five horse. Just a beautiful, beautiful machine. Absolutely fabulous. Just let that soak in. Black on black, a little bit of gray there. Aluminum frame, by the way. Just a oh, beautiful, beautiful thing. So what is it? Well, it's a 765 cc dual overhead cam. Check that out. Leaning forward, just a gorgeous thing. 12 valve, four valve per cylinder, inline triple, liquid cooled, of course. Look at that curved radiator. Isn't that neat? Just a beautiful, beautiful thing. 12 and a half to one compression, 121 horsepower, 58 foot pounds of torque. That's uh, about 79 Newton meters. Electric throttle. It's got uh, five rider modes. Rain, uh, rain, road, sport, track, and then one that's variable, you can adjust yourself. Um, it's got a stainless header system there, look at that. Three into one, just a gorgeous thing there. I love it, I love it. It even gets better yet, look at this. It's got a six speed transmission with a quick shifter, up and down quick shifter. Now I haven't used this yet, I haven't driven this bike, so uh, we're gonna see how that works when we're out there. But just look at how that thing just, Every nut and bolt is just perfection, perfection. X-ring chain, by the way, since we're back here, let's look at that. That's the, uh, that's the uh, you know, that's the top-notch thing with the chain, the X-rings. Like I said, the uh, frame is aluminum. It's got these aluminum uh, front section and stamped rear, uh, cast, I'm sorry, pressure cast rear sections. The swing arm, let's take a look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Just, I think that's a hollow swing arm. Absolutely gorgeous the way they did that. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the front forks are 41 millimeters. They're called big piston forks. I'm not sure what that means, but they're fully adjustable. Here's the adjusters down here. There's a little thing underneath the uh, underneath here that you use to adjust the forks. And they are adjustable for uh, compression, rebound, preload, just everything you can imagine right there. Just a, And down here, by the way, there's a little adjuster down here. It's just a fabulous thing. Uh, let's go look at these hot rod brakes. My favorite brakes on the planet at this time in my life are these gorgeous Brembos M50s. It's got the monoblock caliper. It's made out of one piece of aluminum that's been, or whatever alloy it is, that's been milled. They're radially mounted. It's got a uh, 310 millimeter, I think that's what it is, yep, uh, disc, full floating disc. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look how big that is. Just gorgeous. On the rear, they've got the uh, 220 millimeter Brembo. By the way, it's a single pot on the rear. It's a four pot on the, each side. It's a four pistons on this one, two on each side. So eight, eight pistons total on the front of the bike. Two, you know, two, four for each disc. Anyway, here's the rear one. Full anti-lock brake, of course, front and rear. Uh, seat height on this motorcycle is about 32 and a half inches. That's uh, 800 and, uh, 25 millimeters. Now I've been sitting on this and kind of pushing it around and uh, it is, uh, you know, it is a little tall, but I don't mind that at all because the bike is so narrow. Check that out. Just a real narrow kind of gunfighter seat, you know. Wheelbase on this. And here's my, you know, I love bikes with a 55 in the wheelbase. And this is a 55.3 inch wheelbase. That's a 1405 millimeters. Just <laughs> part of the nimble, part of the nimble. And uh, I already mentioned the weight, 366 pounds. That's about 166 kilos. Dry weight. I don't know what the wet weight is. I couldn't find that. And the fuel tank, this gorgeous, I don't know what they call that, camel top, just, and by the way, well, we'll look at the detail here in a second, is uh, 4.6 gallons. That's roughly 17.4 liters. I do like that tank. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just talk about that real quick. This is called carbon black, the color. I hope the camera's picking it up. It's just so much detail in that paint. This uh, is the Triumph badge ghosted on there. It's underneath the clear finish. Look at all this, the RS over here, just 
just gorgeous. These little plays here to clean it up down here. Same in here, fill up this trellis frame. The little uh, shark fin detail here, isn't that just gorgeous? And it's the same thing here. Just a, just a fabulous looking thing. Here again, hope that shows. RS badging on the front. Triumph down here. There's lots of little Triumph symbols on here. This is one of my favorite ones right here. <laughs> right there in the pipe. Isn't that nifty? Just a beautiful, beautiful thing. The bike has, uh, I might have mentioned this already, Pirelli Diablo Super Courses. The uh, front tire is, uh, which, which are the sticky, is a sticky for street bikes. The uh, front tire is, let me see if I can find my notes here. Front tire is a 120-70-17, and the rear is a 180-55-17. 17s are the way you go with, a, you know, if you want nimble, it's always 17s. And uh, these have got not only not only the 17s, but it's got every bit of goodie. The forks are uh, Showa, by the way, on the front, Showa forks. Big, you know, big piston forks, like I said earlier. And of course, the Olin's on the rear, the Monoshock Olin's on the back. Look at that Triumph detail in the back here. Stamped in, or not stamped in, cast in. Just fabulous, just fabulous. I love it, I love it. Okay, let's talk about the looks. The looks of this bike. So what do y'all think of this? Uh, I'm an old man, and this looks really, really radical to somebody like me. Uh, I thought praying mantis or hornet or a wasp or something like that. It, it looks like it's ready to attack However, you want to look at it. It's just it just looks very aggressive Got this little scoop in the you know in the front here uh, I love the you know, I love the way it looks this uh, camel hump tank tank This uh, rear panel pops off with the key inside there. There's a little bit of tools and the allen wrenches and then the uh, item that you use to adjust the forks I was trying to figure out how to adjust the back ones here, or the back one. There's a little doodad here. Uh, and of course, there's some rings here for doing compression and stuff. But the, oh, here's, here's the uh, water reservoir right there. I said already, I pointed out the quick shifter. You know, one thing I always love about Triumphs is the quality. Look at the quality of these pegs. Foot pegs, cast aluminum, they have a little Triumph symbol on them. The rear one's the same way. Even though there is no rear seat, I suppose you can buy a pad for that. Uh, look at the quality of the kickstand. Isn't that just neat? Just a gorgeous, gorgeous thing. Little chin bearing down there. Absolutely love it. Uh, so I gotta look at the, okay. The, uh, this is a clutch lever. And look at this adjustment for the clutch lever. Little, very minute increments. Watch the lever here. You can see the, isn't that neat? And then you go over here and it's the same thing for the brake. But what's really nifty about this is this adjustment here. It adjusts the rate of, if you crank this one way, it'll be a, a long throw, you know, the brake will be not so sensitive. You can adjust it the other way and the brake will be very sensitive based on how you adjust this this uh, item here. And then of course, this adjusts the uh, distance from here to here. It's got a bar and mirror stock and it's got the, you know, the uh, shape that's right. Not just round, but the long, so you can get a good view of the traffic. Uh, talking about dash, pass to flash right over here. You've got controls, the mode control. A little joystick, and we'll look at that in a minute. Horn, blinkers, and Triumphs always have the best blinkers, by the way. The kill and start switch here, hazard lights, uh, the home button for your TFT. Let's see if I'm missing anything here. I'm sure I am. This is an electric, uh, you know, electric throttle, fly-by-wire. Uh, turning this on, it's a full-color, five-inch TFT, and look at that. Come on. <laughs> Uh, I think you can also get a little uh, fairing for this if you want. It says, good afternoon. There's a, oh, I'm low on fuel. Well, okay, we'll deal with that. Uh, oil light, everybody should have an oil light. That's, an, that's a good one. But uh, it's, it's got it all. Let's hit that. Okay, rider modes, we're in road, sport, rain. And there, uh, there is a rider mode also that you can customize. There's a sport and there's also a track. Let me see how I get to that. Sport. And track so rider rain road sport track very nice um, since I'm an old guy I'm gonna go to let's go to road all right I'll be happy with that and uh, I'm not sure what you have to do to make that work but we're gonna leave it there let's see if there's any assemblage here yep road right there it's a very interesting display um, I'm gonna tell you how it works when we're on the road I love the quality of everything on here. Everything looks very, this is a very bright display. Uh, we'll have to find out more about that. Okay, 
brake reservoir. Just a beautiful thing, guys. Just a beautiful thing. And of course, with the Olins, you got the yellow and the gold. I love it. I love it. Hey, I love it so much. I'm Fuzzy Biker, and I'm going to go take that hot rod for a spin. Let's go. Wahoo! Four, three, two, one. Holy moly. Can you all hear that? Oh my gosh. Went from dark to light. Looks like the uh, red line is 12, I think it's supposed to be 12.8. It's just over eight here. I can see it right down there. Amazing. Oh man, we, we cannot hot rod this because it's it's a brand new bike. It doesn't have enough miles to do that yet, but we're, uh, we're gonna go out and see what we got. Oh, it pulls away so nice. So nice. All right, let's see what we got. That is Baxter Cycle in Marnie, Iowa. BaxterCycle.com. Give those guys a call and tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Holy moly! Ha 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 ha! This is insane! Insane! Oh my god, this is a childhood dream, my friends. Good grief. 366 pounds, it's 166 kilos. 121 horsepower. Let's see how she does here in our little turn test. Oh my gosh, look at that. Nice and tight, nice and tight. Wahoo, wahoo. This is one of those high revving bikes, but uh, she seems to have plenty of torque down low. Let's do that again just for fun. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Whoa, I love it, I love it. What a grin, what a grin. The street triple is known for its hand. Look at that, ultra low. Look at that, just creeping along. Four miles an hour, it says. We are going to resist the urge to wheelie, my friends. Holy moly. There is a gear indicator on the dash, on the instrument panel. And oh my gosh, it's a wet dream on rubber. Good grief. 60 miles an hour and we're talking about uh, about 4,800 RPMs. Wow. I love the way this thing sits when you're riding it. Uh, sitting out in the showroom does not do this bike justice. This is insane. Insane how nice this is. Your feet are almost below your knees, just a little bit black back. The seat itself, it looks narrow and it is narrow in the front, but it's got a wide berth on the back. It's, it's just, it's, oh my gosh, what a toy. It's a rocket ship. It's a rocket ship. Okay, we got to slow down. I would love to spend a day on this thing. It does engine brake well. You know, it's a full naked. So your body's a big sail in the wind. You can, of course, we lay down. It's got the right tank for it. The ergonomics, sitting on it in the showroom, I didn't like the ergonomics that much, but sitting on it now that I'm riding it, it's just, it's just fabulous. Wahoo! We are fast approaching Iowa's busiest intersection. Oh, the quick shifter. We got to try that. Oh, wow. It just, it, oh, it, it went down. Did you guys see that? My hand was not on it. We'll try that. Uh, well, not a car in sight here. What's going on here today, guys? Don't worry, they'll be here. This is Iowa's busiest intersection, and this bike is doing very well here. It's a, it's a little touchy at low speeds, the bike is. It's a little touchy pushing it around too, but it is very low. The center of gravity is low. We're not going to open it up. Like I said, the red line is uh, 12,800, I believe. We're going to stay well below that. Oh, it just loves the corners, guys. It just loves them. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh. The handling is, it's not jittery at all. It is nimble, but it's not, it's not tweaky. It just goes. I will not wheelie this machine for y'all, but I will tell you that I'm sure this would wheelie in a heartbeat. The suspension is, it's like, 
I, I, you know, I'm just using it on this very smooth road, but it just does it so well. It does not beat you up. It doesn't pound you to death at all. I don't know what the settings are on, but it, it's probably in the very neutral factory setting. The sound it sings is amazing. The song it sings is wow. I love it. I absolutely love it. The brakes. <laughs> We haven't even begun to stretch those brakes at all. Nothing close. Those are made for the track. Okay, we have made our way back to the mighty mini tropolis of Marnie, Iowa, home of Baxter Cycle, dealer to new and used Royal Enfields and Triumphs and any other British, British bike you can think of from the past. Oh, this thing is phenomenal. Phenomenal. This bike is, uh, it's a little, uh, you gotta watch it going slow. It's a little touchy at slow speeds, as you would expect any high-speed handler to be. But I'll tell you what, you get any kind of speed going at all, and this thing handles like a dream. I mean, look at this. This is, <laughs> it has phenomenal handling at low speeds. You just have to watch it. Okay, take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. If you're all interested in a bike like this, go to Baxter Cycle in Marnie, Iowa. They're located off uh, Exit 51 on Interstate 80 in Iowa. Right here in this Mega Mini Tropolis. The Mega Mini Tropolis. <laughs> They've got uh, new and used Royal Enfields and Triumphs. Tell them uh, Fuzzy Biker sent you. This thing has been one of my dream bikes, the uh, weight. You know, less than 400 pounds, over 100 horsepower has been something I've wanted to ride all my life. I've ridden something like this a few times, but uh, this is absolutely amazing. And I really appreciate them lending me this motorcycle. Dreams do come true. That's the new 1200 Triumph right there. Tiger, isn't that amazing? Hey, life is short. Get out there and ride. Wahoo! Yeah.